Okay. We're back. Um, unfortunately, not with the entire fucking cast. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Thursday. We only have two people. And I don't know if we're lucky. We're still going to be able to mash this together with the other episode. But to kind of give a recap of everything. Also, hi. Welcome to Fear of the Outlands. Yada, yada. <laughs> The party delved deeper into sort of the heat, uh, hidden uh, entryway that was dis discovered underneath the stronghold of the Lions of the Sands and uncovered a ancient stone tapestry depicting the war between Tiamat and Bahamut, uncovering hidden secrets in the fact that there were five other dragons on each side that fought in the war and the other f and the five chromatic dragons that allied with tiamat were also banished however they were not banished to the same supposed plane that tiamat was and each one was sent to a different plane the party also discovered a couple of chests that had a little bit of loot uh, made their way through a doorway that led them into a cavern where they discovered a platform in which what sounded like Avis and Avis Andiri and the Waste Elf Zerith having a conversation about trying to frame Raytheon. It ended up actually turning out to be a conversation between Liza and Zerith. After their conversation, the Spelltech Raider ended up appearing, more conversations were had, and the party was immediately discovered. Which is where we are now. So, everybody, that's only two people here. <laughs> everybody clap your hands. No, everybody roll <laughs> initiative. No! I like my idea better. Oh. Okay, well I just wasted a 20. Oh, that's coming- that's coming through my speakers, let's not do that. Uh... Okay, for some reason that... is supposed... Okay, well that's shit for him. Uh, I don't know why this is kind of dead set from last time. I'm just gonna reroll that. Okay, and then... Uh, nugget. Oh, fuck, that's right. Uh, hold on. Uh, please? Yes, I will throw Nugget on the fuck. I did it myself. Oh, dear God. <laughs> why is, why is, why is he, he so massive? Why is he huge? <laughs> why is he huge? I don't know. Do <laughs> oh, Apparently wait. so. That's because he's technically categorized as large fuck <laughs> <laughs> this is why i don't trust nugget he's too scary and big he's just yes, huge yes, he is okay this horse is probably twice the height as me minimum uh oh definitely yeah no technically nugget is a large construct he okay. was in initiative the me Oh, yeah, roll, uh, technically there is no initiative button for Nugget, so just roll his dexterity modifier. <laughs> Damn. <He got> <laughs> Alright, let me adjust that. Because you're not keeping the motherfucking nine. Oh, shit, I gotta roll for Rogue as well. Got a motherfucking twelve. Uh... You know what? I turn that off. Okay. We now fucking start at top of the order. Which apparent oh wait, no, hold on. Got two. Yeah, see the enemies? See, you yeah. gotta see the enemies and the fucking character no, that I decided to know. select for them. Um wait, are there oh their names aren't aren't active either.
All right, top of the order is Bigby. Okay, um... Sorry, I need to check the range on something. Yeah, okay, um... Sorry, I'm on phone, so I'm swapping between map <laughs> and You're uh, fine. You're fine. my character sheet. Okay, I'm gonna move over here next to Icarus so that I can hit the Spelltech Raider with a Rock Slam. For 11. Uh, that is not gonna hit. Okay, that's it, I suppose. Alright. Uh, next up is Liza. She's pissed. Um, she is going to Uh, she is going to cast she's going to cast fairy fire uh, oh the, what is the range on that uh, 60 feet uh, on, I got to figure out okay. I don't want to project you know, I Let's see so. Okay. Oh yeah, no. So I need everyone to make a. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Seventeen. Uh, you're Ooh. good. Uh, Icarus, you are... Yeah, that's a fail. Okay. Uh, Icarus, roll for Nugget as well. What? He doesn't have saving throws. Uh, just roll his dexterity. Okay, uh... Six is a fail as well. Crystalina fails they ran as well. Sure. Yuri fails as well. Jesus Christ. No. What are we getting smacked with, FYI? Fairy, Fairy fire. fire. So, oh, that's not that bad. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta roll for fucking Rogue as well. Rogue succeeds. So everyone except for Bigby and Rogue, um, all attacks at you are at advantage. Uh, hold on. Let me... Did I hit the button for that? I did not. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. Uh, not you, so... Uh, no, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. And then... Does she have a bonus action? Wait, is this Liza going? This is Liza going, yeah. But uh, I got a nine. <laughs> uh, you know what? Oh, no. she's, that, uh, she's actually going to use her movement to make her way here. Uh, that's going to be the end of her turn. Rogue's turn. Let's see, what fucking... Okay, so she with her small ass halfling speed is going to Go okay, wait, quickly, quickly, just just a little thing. Icarus got nine. Uh for what, the deck save? His initiative? Yeah. Yeah? And Liza and <laughs> Liza got the rogue got twelve, yeah. Oh, because just here it says eight. 
That's weird. Um, all right. Um, Rogue is then going to use her bonus action to dash. Where's she wanted? Eh, fuck it. She's going to dash to the Spelltech Raider and try and do an attack. She has advantage because motherfucking uh, assassinate. So 21 hits. Uh, that is 22 points of slashing damage. You watch as she just kind of starts running, kind of sliding around, and just with her dagger, just kind of whips it out and kind of slashes, kind of by the spell tech raider's leg. Fucker's just looking unfazed. And that is his turn. Um. Let's see. All right, with him, he is going to cast a and should we hold on? Uh, yes, that is. Okay. okay. That is... Is that? Yes, that is as well. Okay, so he is going to cast, as a bonus action, Blade of Wrath as a third level spell. Uh, wait, does he attack with it at that same turn? Uh, not on that bonus action, no. Eh, fair enough. All right. Um, I'm not going to have him attack with it yet. We'll save that for another day. But he is going to aim hit... He is going to take a ranged attack. Uh, he's going to take a spell tech cannon attack at... He's going to take it at a Raytheon. Uh, let's see. 21 does hit... Uh, does he have shield? He does. Raytheon's going to cast shield. <laughs> uh, as a reaction. That ends... Yeah, that ends the raider's turn. Icarus, you're up. Okay. Jumpy jump. All right. Okay. Um. Th now I have to relearn how to do that fucking thing. Where is? I'm here. What's he looking for? I'm relearning how to use my scythe. Oh yeah, the fucking scythe. Takes me a minute.
Okay, how do I click without actually using like that? What are you looking for? I, I, I was just, you know. Okay. I think how I'm meant to use it is you use Shadow Smite. Is that, is that the thing or is it Hex Blades? Um, wh what are you trying to do? The one that comes with it. Oh, Shadow Smite is the one that comes with your weapon. Hexblade's Curse is a subclass feature. Okay, okay, so. Bonus action. Tihi. Shadow Smite. Where is it? I've lost it. I was literally just. There it is. <laughs> All right. And then... Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, ow. Uh, I forgot what, what it does. <laughs> Deals like an extra 2d8 necrotic damage, I think. Uh, right, okay, well. Yeah, extra 2d8 necro necrotic damage on a weapon attack. Uh... A 19 on Liza. Let's see, uh. She is going to... Wait, hold on. Yeah, she's going to cast shield so then that it will match. So the attack doesn't go through. Motherfucker. Hold on, I think I have something in... No, that's... What were you looking for? Nothing. Okay. That's all I can do. Alright. Next up is Xerath the Waste Elf. Um. He is going. He's going to cast Enlarge on the Spelltech Raider. That is not what I wanted. So you just watch as this fucker just grow in size. Rogue is just looking and it's like, uh, guys? I'm not too sure about this one. Um... So yeah, Xerath is concentrating on that. And then... Uh, wait, no, she, he can't cast another spell. He doesn't have a bonus action cantrip. Of course he doesn't! <laughs> uh, let's see, what else does he have? No, nope, that doesn't count. Uh, uh, okay, uh, that is going to be the end of his turn. Never thought I'd fucking say this, but it's Nugget's turn. Yeah, <laughs> Nugget! Okay, how, how far away is... Okay. Okay. How, how far can he move again? 
Where is his movement? Okay, well, he's fine. He goes nugget there. Is, nugget is fast as fuck. It is very fast as fuck. Um, don't mind this, I'm just checking. If, okay, so if he... Where is it there? Hold on. He's he's gonna go. He's gonna go a little closer. I just need a. Th he, he needs to be close enough so that I, he can throw a grenade without killing oh, Rogue. No. Oh no. <laughs> he wants Why to throw a grenade. To you? Okay, so if he throws it, if he throws uh... it there. He isn't, but she isn't. I will say, if you move Nugget shadow. there, if you move Nugget there, the raider would have uh, attack of opportunity. If you were, like, right up here. Oh, he's not going up there. Okay. It's me trying to measure, see if oh, he would throw it there. Gotcha, I'm gotcha, trying to gotcha. measure, which would actually be more useful if I used him. Hold on. Because his icon is smaller. See, if you threw it there, she she is technically out of range. Technically. I'd allow that. Like if he threw it here. Oh yeah. Uh, back you go. I think he was there. Okay. Um. The two boys need the 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 robot and Zerith need to need to um. DC please. Deck save. Uh, for deck a save. fucking grenade. All right. Raiders got fifteen. Uh, wait, hold on. It's large coming. Uh, do 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 do. Manage on strength. Oh, and uh, but he does. Oh wait, no strength, not dex. Um, so that's fifteen for the raider, and ten for Zerith. Okay. Also, I just realized, um, Nugget has advantage against spells and other magical effects, so he his fairy fire. Oh shit, that's right. Let me scroll back. Yeah, scroll back a bit. <laughs> Advantage. Where, where is it? Nugget. Nugget. I mean, I'd, say, I'd say you could also just roll another one. I'm just gonna roll another one, because fuck if I can find it. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, five. Never that's, mind. Yeah, no, no. It still fails. Alright, um, but yeah. Uh, so, 15... Uh, from the spell tech raider and ten from Zerith. For... Okay, so spell tech gets half, Zerith gets full, uh, three d six. And let me get. Dear God, what the fuck did I create? So, Zerith gets twelve. Uh, wait, no. Uh... Spell tech, spell raider gets six. Also, um. Isn't Zerith holding a concentration? Yes, he is. Uh, How cool is that? That is a con save for him. Let me double check one. Actually, I gotta double check two things. Uh, first, did. Uh, no, I did not give him Warcaster, so that's fucking lucky for you. Uh, next did... Oh, okay, okay, so, alright, that's fair, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's all I needed, so, con save, uh, he's gotta be at a 10. <laughs> he's still con it. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's still concentrating. Uh, is that it for Nugget? Yes, that's it for Nugget. Okay, Crystalina's turn. She is going to also hop up. Motherfucker, she's got speed of 45. She's going to hop over to Xerath. And she's going to punch the bastard. Uh, let's see, what actually does more? 
Uh, hold on. Let me double check. Uh, let me double check how this works. Uh, with an unarmed strike. Yeah, no, she's just gonna punch him. Uh, let's see. 17. Does beat the armor class. He does not have shield, so it goes through. Uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Plus... She's going to spend a key point for Hand of Harm to deal an extra nine necrotic. Uh, and... She's also going to subject him to the poison condition. So that is Oh wait. Hold on, hold on. No, he's resistant. He's not a meme. Okay. So that is 7 points of damage from bludgeoning, 9 points of damage from necrotic. She still has another attack. I think. Uh, where the fuck are you? Yeah, she has another attack, which she's going to punch him again. 18, that hits. 7 points of necrotic. Um, yeah, let's do another hand of harm on that one for an additional 5 points of necrotic damage. Where, where the fuck are you, Zerith? Okay, yeah, so... Another 7 bludgeoning, 5 necrotic. Oh shit, he's got to make saving throws. Okay, so first one... Uh, he has to beat a... Still has to beat a 10. Which he does. Uh, then second one, he still technically has to beat a 10. Which he does. Uh, Kristalina is going to use her bonus action attack. Because motherfucking monks. For a nat fucking 20. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, slay. Slay. Nine points bludgeoning damage. Definitely going to use another hand of harm on this one. For, for critical. That is... 21 points of damage total to Zerith. Jesus fucking Christ, she's just wailing on him. He is not looking good. Uh, has to roll another con save. Succeeds. That's the end of her turn. It's Yuri's turn. Yuri would like to rage. Make his way over to Raider. The Great Axe. He's going to swing at the Raider. 21 hits. Deals 16 points of slashing damage. Has a second attack. Yes, he does. 19 does not hit. Brachion's turn. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Um, Brachion's kind of more pissed off at Liza than anything else. Uh, it's going to make its way over here. Uh, oh yeah, he did use all of his. He is going to... He's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot her. <laughs> For 26. Uh... <coughs> yeah, even with the fucking shield that hits, he deals 12 points of piercing damage. 
Yeah. 12 points piercing damage. She needs to make a con save. Fairy fire is still up. Uh, bonus action. What can you do for bonus action? Jesus Christ, why do you have it? Okay, there's that. Uh, you know what? No, he's just going to use his Eldritch Cannon on Force uh, using the Force Ballista mode. So he needs to make a bonus action attack and fails. Uh, that's the end of his turn. Top of the round, it's Big B. Alrighty, I'm gonna go up here next to Yuri, and I'm gonna use my short- not my short sword, my rapier. And really quickly... Yes? Let me see. I think it's a kobold thing. Um, because of pack tactics, I have an advantage on attack rolls against a creature, as long as one of my allies is within five feet of the creature also. Yes, you do. Yes. Still keep it a 12. <laughs> that does not hit. Oh my gosh, okay. That's... That's it for you? Actually, can I take a bonus action disengage because I'm a rogue and step back? Yes, you can. <laughs> and that will be the end of my turn. Fucking rogues! Alright, yeah, alright. <laughs> um... On a little space, you know? Yeah, Liza's turn. She takes her gun, which you guys can see is very intricate at this point um as it is the gun that was missing from fucking avis's quarters she's going to point it at arachion and she is going to use a chromatic shot uh in which actually first off uh, Wait, where's the sh... Oh, no, it's all like, all right. Yeah, she, she's going to use a chromatic shot. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's burn two charges into a chromatic shot. At Raytheon for 14. That misses. <laughs> uh, you watch as uh, the... Uh, you watch as the rotating chamber within this gun starts to spin. Uh, you know, I really wish I had a D5. Okay, you know what? I'll just roll D6. Uh, and listing, it's... Okay. So you watch as it rolls onto uh, one of the chambers and the gun erupts with thunderous energy towards a ray gun in which he dodges out of the way. Oh, wait, no, this is at advantage. I forgot about that. Because okay. of fairy fire. That still fails. <laughs> uh, the gun erupts with this thunderous energy. Uh, you see she just kind of sneers at Arachion in disappointment. Um, she's then going to... Come on. Until the end. All right, she's then going to, uh, she's then going to cast multi-shot at, at yeah, multi-shot at a second level as a bonus action and end her turn. Rogue's turn. She is going to just stay there and start stabbing at this fucker. Uh, sadly, does not have advantage, but because she's next to an ally, 
She does still get her sneak attack damage. 11 does not hit. Uh, she's going to use her bonus action. The 25 fucking hits. Uh, I'm gonna roll for damage. 17 points of piercing damage to the spell tech raider. You watch as like Rogue is slowly making her way, trying to stab at this fucker. But for but it doesn't look like the attacks are doing as much damage as you guys would hope. <laughs> She's just kind of looking at it. She's just looking at this thing as like. Well, shit. Uh, that's the spell tech raider's turn. He is... Okay, hold on. What is the... Uh... Yeah, no, okay. I was thinking of haste. Okay, so with that, he's going to take his blade of wrath and... He's going to slash it at Yuri. Oh, Christ. That fucking hits. Don't kill Kahlo. Yeah, no, he'd be pissed. So. Oh, he is fucking lucky. He is very lucky. So that's five points of damage total. Have to two. Mother fucking uh but uh he is going to need to make a wisdom saving throw, I think. Hold on, let me check something. No he does not, because mindless rage. God fucking damn it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, no, but that would try. Okay, so, and then with that, he is then going to... Uh, he's then going to attack again. Uh, this time at Rogue. Oh, dear Christ. Wait, hold on. Is that really right? Hold on. Melee spell attack. Oh, yeah, no, that's right. That is right. Well, fuck me. Um... He is then, uh, let's see, do, 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 do. Yeah, no, he's gonna also burn a, wait, hold on, right, the, oh, no, that is concentration. Yeah, so Rogue gets 12 points of fire damage plus four points of, four more points of damage. And she needs to make a wisdom saving throw, right? All right, this is a new spell for me, so bear with me. Uh, yeah, wisdom saving throw. She succeeds. Wait, nope. No, she does not. Uh, Rogue is now frightened. Uh... Condition. Frightened. Uh, that is the end of his turn. Icarus, back to you. Yay. Okay, where's my thing? The... A ten. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I got that. 
Nothing else then? No. Alright. Um I'm I'm uh, sorry. Yes, there is there is. Okay. I'm just thinking. What you gonna do? Okay, well, I have the free action. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, shit. Which gives me another action, so I'm gonna try yes, again. Yes. And I go, fuck me. It's fine. I have a bonus action still. Yes, you do. Anything you would like to do on your bonus action? Yeah, I'm gonna make a spiritual weapon. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot about it. Oh, I hate that I keep forgetting these things. Um, I don't know what that is. I just press the button. Yeah, uh, I need... Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, that did that. Ow. Just take it. All right. That is not what the fuck I want to do. Okay. Uh, where the fuck is? Right. Um. You know what? Uh. Oh, that's where they went. Okay. Oh, I see. So for the sake of this, we'll say this spear is the spiritual weapon. Um, but yeah, 21 hits. Yippee! So roll 1d8 plus 4, please. <laughs> Wait, can I shrink this? Six. Um. Okay, six points of horse damage, real. What it says. It's just a glowing dot for us. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it's gonna stay that way. Okay. Um, out of curiosity, what shape is the spiritual weapon? Because you get to choose what shape it appears in. I has a question. Um, hold on. Keep in mind, you can, at this point, I'd say you can make it into any shape you want. For crying out loud, there's been one instance where it's been a lollipop, and then there's a, been a time where it's a bust of Betty White. What? Critical role, man, I'm telling you. I totally forgot about the lollipop spiritual weapon. That thing rocked. Yeah. And then there was the Betty White bust uh, from Shokasta. I did not watch that. That was like, that was like, yeah, one, of, that was like one of the early episodes. Think, was it? Yeah. I must just not remember it then. Hmm. So yeah, Icarus, what do you want your uh, spiritual weapon to look like? I'm going low with it. Okay. I like the sound of this. I like the sound of this. Okay. For the sake of being quick. It's 
excuse me. I downloaded it. Can you give it to me? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me give you... Uh... No, no, it's not going in. I know, it's just my computer it... is refusing. No, it's my computer, not right. you. Well, also, I didn't have the token set as player controlled, so. Yeah, well, we can't. I can't even see the token. It's just a glowing. Yeah. Circle, but yeah, it's that. It's just a sun circle type bullshit thing, oh, to which okay. even to which even he's very fucking confused about. He's like, <laughs> what? So we just basically see this sphere, this golden sphere shaped like a sun-like comet just whack the shit at Eliza, and Icarus is just sitting there like, the fuck? I was not expecting this. Alright, is that gonna be the end of your turn? Yes. You know what the terrifying part of this is? Spiritual weapon- what? Spiritual Weapon is not a concentration spell. Nope. That's the terrifying part. Okay, moving on. Uh, Xerath's turn. He is going to... What is he going to do? What is he going to do? You know what? He's going to cast. He's going to cast Lightning Bolt. On. Um, let's see. How, what's the range on this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Let's see, how does he want to do this? You know what? Yeah, he's going to uh, shoot it in the line kind of right in front of him. So, Rogue, ironically enough, the Spelltech Raider as well, Yuri, Bigby, and Nugget need to make dexterity saving throws. 19. Nugget. <laughs> Nugget's fun. Alright, 17 for the raider. Uh, Jesus Christ, 22. I got 22. Uh, 24 for rogue. Uh, let me see. Zerith. Yeah, no one. Uh, let's see, yeah, so DC was 16. Nugget passed. The raider passed. Bigby passed. So all of you take half damage from this yeah everyone takes half damage oh good everyone takes 16 points of lightning damage yoach <laughs> all right so that's 16 to the raider oh wait rogue. oh it doesn't matter anyway because he didn't anyway fine yeah yeah no that's fair um okay does he all right so that's his action the raider is just kind of looking pissed now uh He's not gonna cast. Oh wait, no, he can't because he used a because he casted lightning bolt. Never mind. Uh, that's the end of his turn. Nugget's turn. Grenade. Where are you setting it? Oh wait, shit! I need to roll for Yuri as well. I forgot. Yeah, he also takes half. What What is this area here? Is it just like um, a pool? Yeah, more or less. Okay, so if he throws it in there, it gets... And then he can... 
Uh, Crystalina, why? Uh, Close with that. Does Crystalina have evasion? Does Crystalina have evasion? That's the greatest question. She does not. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, Raider needs to make a con save now. Uh, 14. Yeah, no, he's fine. Um, yeah, no one there is concentrating on shit. God damn it, Crystalina. You know what? Here comes the good. <laughs> he he's fine. He can just he's just gonna eat himself up here. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, see? If he throws it just here, then it only gets Liza. Dex slave, please. Okay, Dex from Liza. 25. But she still takes damage from being exploded. Whatever the fuck half of 11 is. 5. Um, she needs to roll a con save. She fails. Fairy fire drops. Yay! Actually, see, this is why being DM sucks, because I forgot he, she also has this other one thing. Um, scratch what I just said. You watch as it almost goes down. And then her armor kind of starts to give off a glow, and the spell, for some reason, still fucking holds. So, Fairy Fire is still active, unfortunately. Because Artificers and fucking uh, Mind Sharpener. Uh, is that going to be the end of Nugget's turn? Yes, it's the end of Nugget's turn. Okay, Crystalina's turn. She's going to punch. Er. Wait, hold on. Within range, let's see, it's a 30 foot. So it would be, yes, 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 no, okay. Do I want to do something that she would never do herself? You know what? Fuck it. Um, she's going to actually cast Bless <laughs> on Rogue, Yuri, and Bigby. Yay! I forget, are... is that just a plus D4? Uh, yeah, it's just a D4 to uh, attack rolls and saving throws. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's then going to use a... She's then going to use a bonus action for patient defense. So she can... Uh, that's going to be the end of her turn. Who the fuck is it now? Yuri! Yuri is raging. He would like to smack this motherfucking giant robot. That's a net fucking one. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, no, that's not gonna hit no matter what I fucking do here. Uh, gonna attack again. Even with Bless, that's not gonna help. Um...
Gonna go frenzy here, so bonus action attack. <laughs> uh, 18, that might. Even with the bless, it fails. You see Yuri just trying to smack into this fucking thing, but is not getting anywhere close. Uh, Arachion's turn. What is the... You know what? No, he's not going to do any of that shit. Uh, he is going to bonus action cast Faint. And is then going to shoot Liza with his gun at advantage because he can now. That motherfucking hits. About time. God damn it. God damn it, Angel, even when you're not here. Uh, Alright, con save. <laughs> passes. That's the end of his turn. Big B, you're up. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna do basically the same thing I did last time, which is come up, and attack, and then step back. <laughs> and you have advantage, and you're blessed. Yes, well, 21 hit? <laughs> do I need to roll that d4? Uh, you know what? Let me find out. What? Uh, no you don't. That will hit. Okay. You gotta be so worried. Okay, uh, 12 damage. Don't forget the sneak attack damage as well. Because you didn't oh. with advantage. Oh my gosh, is that real? Yeah. Okay, 17? <laughs> okay, 17 plus 12. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Two sixes and a five is so good. All right, he's. I'm you can start. Bonus to action. See. Yeah, he's... <laughs> You're starting to see a little bit of wear and tear in this thing. Finally. Um. All right. So that's the end of your turn. Liza's yes. turn. She's going to shoot a Raycheon again. Um. Yeah, she's going to try and go for another chromatic shot. Uh, this time at just burning one charge for it. She has advantage because of molt. Uh, because of. What? Multi shot, I think? Yeah, no, it was because of multi shot. I think? Wait, no, hold on. Did I fuck this up? I might have fucked this up. Oh, no, hold on, no, I did actually fuck this up. It's not something that gives you advantage, it's something that gives you a second attack. Alright, on a different creature. You know what, that's still fine. Uh, still gonna work it. Still fails. This bitch sucks at this motherfucking gun. Um... But still does technically get a, another attack. A second ranged weapon attack roll. She is going to shoot at Bigby. Okay. 15. Oh, wait, no. Oh, fuck. Advantage. I keep forgetting that. See, it's my... Well, that doesn't matter. Oh, wait. Um, no, I... I didn't get affected by fairy fire, did I? Uh, oh, no, you did not. That's yeah. right, you did oh, not. Oh, it doesn't so, matter, it's still a 15. So, 15 to hit? Matches. You are safe. Yes. This bitch is not having fun. <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Wait, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much all she can fucking do at this point. Uh, Rogue's turn. She is still frightened. Uh, how long does that last, actually? I need to check that. Uh, frightened until the start of your next turn. Okay. So she is frightened. Frightened. 
she is going to run away, which is going to invoke attack of opportunity from the raider. I am so sorry to my NPC. That hits. She takes 11. Hold on. Two. Oh, it's supposed to be 2d8 fire and 2d8. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. I fucked this up. She actually is not frightened because the spell says something entirely different. I'm a fucking idiot. My defense, this is a new fucking spell. Okay, so retcon everything I just fucking said. She's going to take the... She's going to move, but she's going to bonus action disengage first so she can get to fucking Xerath. Then she's going to attack the motherfucker with her dagger. 23 motherfucking hits. For 19 points of piercing damage to Xerath. Xerath is down. The enlarged spell is done. Just say he's right there. <laughs> you see, she just kind of, after watching Crystalina just fucking beat the shit out of him, she's just like, Alright, you know what? He's the source of the problem. Just runs up. Just comes out of nowhere and just fucking uh, stabs him right in the gut and just continues through. And he falls to the ground. That's the end of her turn. Raider's turn is going to attack Yuri again. Uh, actually, I think this time it's also at advantage. Is it? Do, 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 do. Yuri, how the fuck does Frenzy work? Uh, okay. Rage ends. Point of exhaustion. Okay. Never mind. So he is still going to attack Yuri twice. Uh, where the fuck is it? There the fuck is it? 22 hits. That's 10 points of fire damage to Yuri, halved to t 5. And then I realized this thing also does motherfucking radiant damage as well, so that's 8 points of radiant damage to Yuri. Okay, so. Full 8, and then the 5. He's going to attack Yuri again. For 19... The fuck's this? Yeah, no, that hits. So that's... 10 points of fire damage again, halved to 5. And then 13 points of radiant damage, not halved. Ooh, Yuri is looking hurt. Uh... Let's see. Let's see. The raider is then going to bonus action cast far step and teleport thirty feet. Close to Raytheon, Blade of Wrath drops. And then uses movement speed to get right up next to him. That's the end of his turn. Icarus, you're up. Uh. Okay. I will say, because spiritual weapon is a new thing for you, though, I mean, you played Baldur's Gate before, you know how it works, I think. Oh, no, it works different in Baldur's Gate. It gets summoned as its own, it gets summoned and acts like a companion, it's not. 
Oh, like right. it, it has its own action and bonus action, whereas in actual D and D, you have to use your bonus action. Okay, so it's mostly like Baldur's Gate. It's similar, but not exactly the same. Yeah, well, isn't it also concentration on Baldur's Gate? No, I don't think so. Hmm. All right. Well, I think way. it just follows the rule of like you can only have certain amount of certain amount of companions out and it acts as a companion fair all right what you gonna do um 23 that'll fucking hit 10 all right that's your action and then your bonus action? I do have I do have Shadow Smite on it. Oh shit. That's yes, right. Yeah, the wisdom saving throw. You're doing Wait, hold on. What? Wait, how does Shadow Smite fucking work? Just straight up two D six necrotic damage. Wrathful Smite's the one that makes you Where do the can... wisdom saving throw. Sorry, there's a lot of words. You are totally fine. Oh, that's for... Wrathful Smite. Oh, the spell lot. That's... No, that's for the spell slot thing that I was reading down on. Oh. Yeah, no, you're fine. Okay. So yeah, just roll 2d8. Twelve. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh... Let me that's check. 22. Yeah, that's terrifying. No, she does not have what I thought she was going to have. Yeah, no, that fucking hits. In bonus action. 22. Yeah, that hits. Eight. Okay, that's another eight. Um, she is looking. I just for... did thirty damage. Jesus fucking Christ! I need to level up these things higher. All right, uh, two con saves for her. That's a nat Fair. one. She's gonna burn another charge from her armor to succeed. Uh, second, uh, second one. That's a 15. She saves. Fair fire is still technically up. Alright. Uh, that the end of your turn? Yep. Alright. It's Nugget's turn. Yay, grenade! Oh, God. I think that matches. Um. Yeah. No. That's constant. Sorry, I looked at constitution, so. A deck save. Alright, hold on. Where are you putting it? Same place as last time. Which is like. Here ish somewhere. Same place as last time, so only she gets hit. Yeah, okay. So, deck save from Liza. That's a f <gasps> fail. Full four! Yay! Eight. Damn. And now do the con concentration another, things again. Another concentration thing. She's. Ah, uh, never mind. Holy shit! All right. Uh, and She's used turn... to getting bombarded with grenades. <laughs> yeah. Uh, keep in mind that is the last time you can use the grenade because you can only use it three times. I know. All right. I know. Chris I am Marine. Crystalina's turn. She's gonna run. She's going to punch. If I can find her punch, there's her punch. That's a fail. She's going to punch again. That's still a fail. Um, you know what? Flurry blows. Let's go. 
That's still a fail. Uh, last one. That succeeds. That succeeds. She deals eight points of bludgeoning damage. And she is going to Stunning Strike. If I can find her character sheet. And... Yeah, Stunning Strike with her last fucking key point. Uh, con save from the Raider. So th that fails. He is stunned. Yay. Uh, all right. Add condition. Stunned. Uh, that's the end of her turn. Yuri's turn. Uh, he's going to run. He is going to swing with an at advantage. Uh, gonna roll that d4. 21, that hits. Seven points of slashing damage to the raider. Okay, yeah. Uh, is then going to attack again. With advantage. That's going to fail. Uh, bonus action frenzy. That'll succeed. With eight points. That's the end of Yuri's turn. Arakion's turn. He is going to. do something here. I don't know what he's going to do. You know what? He is going to cast... He's going to cast Thunder Wave at second level. Uh, in a direction to where it's not going to affect the party. Uh, so that's con save. Does stun affect constitution? Yeah, no. Okay, so con save. That matches. He succeeds and takes half of 18 points of thunder damage. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, half. Does not get moved back. Arachion is then going to use his bonus action to force Ballista. Where the fuck is it? There the fuck is it? Uh, this is at... Oh, oh, shit. That is... A nat 20. Okay. So that is 48... Points of force damage. Yeah. Yeah. 13 points of force damage. And he is pushed back five feet. That's the end of that. Big B, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna come down here. Yes, this is in my range. And I'm gonna attack with my little short sword. Or with my. Sorry, I keep calling it short sword, but my rapier. 25 to hit? Um. Yeah, that hits. Uh, roll damage. Yes. And don't forget you have sneak attack. Alright, so 15 total. He is looking hurt. Awesome. 
That would be the end of my turn. All right. Next up is Liza. She is going... Hang. Where the fuck are her spells? She's just going to straight up shoot a Raytheon. Which is at advantage because of Fairy Fire. That hits. Arachion's going to cast Shield on himself. Does he have the spell slots for it? He does. He's going to cast Shield so it fails. <laughs> uh, she's then going to force Ballista shoot Arachion. Where the fuck is. There it is. Uh, do, do, do. 19. That still fails. She is not happy. That's the end of her turn. Rogue's turn. She's got to run. Uh, she's going to full bonus action dash to Liza. Take an attack with her dagger. It is a 21. Uh, motherfucker, even with shield, that doesn't... That Liza is not happy right now. Uh, and is also down. <laughs> That's going to be the end of Rogue's turn. It's the Raider's turn. No, it's not. He's stunned. Actually. Icarus, it's your turn. GA. Oh, she's poo poo dead. Yep, yeah, Liza's dead. Where'd it go? Up there. No, oh, yeah, that's not gonna hit. Uh, you have advantage. <gasps> I have advantage. Because he's stunned. That's gonna hit. That's definitely gonna hit. Plus the necrotic, which plus, is. Uh, plus critical. Oh, it's true. Hold on. Plus, what's the necrotic again? Uh, normally it's 2d8, but uh, because it's critical, it's 4d8. How much did I just do? Uh... 31 points of damage in total. Icarus. How do you want to do this? If you can <laughs> This mother- so Liza dies in front of him. He's a little no because he wanted to kill her. Turns around. Just fucking- <laughs> Comes running over with his scythe and just kind of like swings it down so it just like spears through him, through his head. So you swing your. Downward scythe. You drag your scythe across the ground. S sparks kind of fly off of it, uh, scraping across the stone as along with wisps of necrotic energy. You just swing it upward towards the raider's head. You make contact. It goes through. And then it goes past. As you've knocked, you've taken this thing down, but as you knock it down, you also see that its face, face plate 
comes off along with part of the of the head for what you originally thought was the head you and the rest of the party watch as now the knocked back beaten Spelltech Raider underneath all of the metal you see a face not a metal face not anything that would not a robotic face not a spell mech face but an actual person's face you see what looks to be a man almost elven in the facial features but you can't quite tell because you can't see the ears his face is gaunt pale the eyes looking at you but yet you can see that doesn't look like there's any life in them, but they're still looking at you back and forth between everyone. And in this particular moment, you see that Arachion turns to look at this face. You see a moment of surprise, almost horror. Maybe. I don't know. I'm doing this the best I can. But you see, at the very least, surprise, bewilderment, as he says, That's not possible. And that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Dude. Aw. Holy. It's just going to die this whole time. So... Thank you two for playing. I really wish we had everyone else here. Um, but yeah, we will pick this up on Tuesday. Um, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, if everyone actually shows up. Uh, but yeah. Holy shit. I really need to make this more difficult for you guys. <laughs> No, I'm not even kidding. Like, the Spelltech Raider I had has way more fucking spells and whatnot. I just do not know how to use this motherfucking thing. But that being said, we'll catch everyone next week. And I think this is the only time where I can say it. Is it Thursday yet? <laughs> uh, goodbye. <laughs>